this video I just wanted to show you how to know if the cassette player is good or bad. Well, basically we're talking about the older times, right? Because right now the cassette players are not a thing anymore. We have just all just the Chinese brands that are sold on Amazon and that's not good quality anyway. Uh, and it doesn't have has many functions like Dolby Surround is not there. But if we look at the previous models, like the one from the old days, let's just look at those and uh, decide which one is good and which one is bad. So for example, this is Iowa. And as, as you can see, this is actually uh, not exactly just a player, but it's also a, a cassette recorder. So it has dedicated functions for recording. So first, let's take a look at this one. Uh, all right, so here's the cassette player. First of all, it has all the functions right here. Fast forward, rewind. Uh, it has the stop and record options, uh, as well as the pause. So you can just pause the tape while it's playing. Boom, it stopped. It's paused actually. So, and uh, it has the sensor. I think it's a microphone sensor or something like that, not quite sure. But anyway, let's go further. It has dedicated microphone right here. Uh, and you can actually control the speed of recording. It's normal and extended. But just you need to make sure that uh, if you set to extend it, it can, it can only be played on this specific Iowa cassette player. So it's an interesting thing. Let's look further. So here we have the playback speed. So you can control the playback speed from the fast to slow and to normal. You can just easily see which, which one is set. As well as volume control. It's pretty nice, smooth uh, volume control. It's all good. Have also the input for uh, external uh, microphone and earphone. What else? It opens nice and smoothly. Just put the cassette tape here. Boom, it's done. And it also has the counter, which like so you know where exactly in the tape you are. Oh, it's it was quite helpful back in those days. Oh, also very important function is like when you press play, you can see the actually like uh, the level of uh, battery charge is it full medium or empty i mean it's quite approximate but still gives you some ideas so uh, how it is so this one is perfect for studying for example you can always like set the playback speed to lower and uh, it will help you to understand the material better so i think it's quite nice player from back from all days Let's put it down here. And now, let's take a look at this one. First of all, this one has no name. I got this one from the thrift store. <laughs> and as you can see, it looks very cheap, plastic made. Uh, no name, stereo, high resolution is actually the name of the player, I guess. Not sure. Then, let's go see here. It just has the fast forward and no rewind button. Which is, I mean, it's horrible. It should have something, right? It should have both controls. To make it cheaper, they just like removed uh, one of the gears or something. All right, let's go here. So that has the power input. I think this one actually also has it somewhere. Yes, DC three volts. Uh, yes, it has the power and it has the headphone jack. And that's it, there's no uh, dedicated microphone input or nothing like that. So which makes you think, hmm, okay, it's a much less functional device. Then look at the volume wheel. It just, it looks very cheaply made. It's just like, you see, it's not even centered. It's like, eh, somewhere in the middle, but not exactly in the middle. So, not good. Then, how it opens, I don't know, it's just like, quite flimsy and uh, so it's it, it's actually like looks very very cheaply made which is probably it is uh, and actually when you start playing and when you see the volume of this one it's like a lot of noise right there and this one it's not that noisy it's good quite good actually so it's very good dedicated player so I think this is the main things how we can distinguish a good one good player uh, from the cheap made and I think this is the the main things that I sold right now mostly like that No good dedicated new players. I made only junk basically 
and I've played it has a lot of noise it's very noisy uh, so no good at all I would not use it but this one let's try it it has some demo tape some uh, educational demo tape as you can see and then you can slow it down like this or you can make it fast really fast like that See? So it's quite functional for this purpose. Um, actually, the tape noise is quite bad too. Yeah, you can clearly hear it. And this one is mono, which is bad, of course. So it's more like for recording only. And this one is, at least it says it's stereo, but I think it's not that great either. <laughs> Even stereo, but it's super noisy and horrible stereo. So that's how I think it is. When you choose a Walkman or recording uh, recording device like that, just make sure that it's actually, at least from pictures, that it looks good and it doesn't look like it's missing lots of interesting features like counter, or I think it will be the battery meter. It's very useful, I think. Oh, so here it has a microphone sensitivity as well. Which one? This uh, doesn't have it at all. I doesn't even have a microphone, so forget about it. Uh, so this is how it is. So please be make sure that to subscribe, because there will be more videos like that, comparison, tech reviews, and stuff like that. And please press the like button.